Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to subtract 10 minus 8.63. So because we have a decimal here, we have to put decimals on the 10. So we can write it like this, 10.00. And I'm using two zeros because when you subtract decimals, you want to line these up. And this number here has two decimals. So watch, now I can write it here, line up the decimal, and then put my numbers. You see now it has zeros there. And then you draw a line, and you put a minus sign. Okay, so zero minus three, that's not gonna work. So what you have to do is you have to go uh, over here and borrow one. But there's nothing to borrow, so you go to the next one and borrow one. But there's nothing to borrow, <laughs> so you go here and you borrow one. So that becomes a zero, that becomes a 10. But then you wanna borrow one for this. So this becomes a nine, this becomes a 10. But then you wanna borrow one for this. So this becomes a nine, this becomes a 10. Let me go through that one more time a little more slowly because I think this is a source of confusion for a lot of people. Okay, so zero minus three. So we want to subtract these, but we can't. So we have to borrow one from our neighbor here, but we can't. So we have to go to the next one to borrow one, but we can't. So we go to this one. Oh, we finally have a number we can borrow. So we subtract one, it becomes a zero. And so you borrow one and you make this one a 10. But then you borrow one from this one, so it becomes a nine, and that makes this one a 10. But then you borrow one from this one, that becomes a nine, and it makes this one a 10. So now we can subtract. 10 minus three is seven. Nine minus six is three. Bring down your decimal. Nine minus eight is one, and that would be the correct answer. I hope this video has been helpful.